Hi there, welcome to machine learning interview question series by Knowledge Powerhouse. And in this series, we are covering a lot of questions on machine learning. And let's see what is our next question. Question is, what is dimension reduction in machine learning? So dimension reduction is an important topic in machine learning. It's good to have the knowledge of this. Let's see what is the answer. Dimension reduction is also known as dimensionality reduction. So that is a popular thing in your day-to-day -day life when you're doing machine learning discussions. Uh, these things will come up that how do you do the dimensionality reduction? So we use dimension reduction techniques in machine learning to perform feature selection or feature extraction or feature prioritization. So these things can be done to find the right set of features for our model. Features are like dimensions. So with dimension reduction, we aim to find the important features that can be used for prediction. So like, I mean, if we have a lot of features, we'll give you an example also. Out of that, we want to find out which are the features important for this model. We can use dimension reduction for that. And this process also reduces the number of random variables or features under consideration in a machine learning algorithm. Because when we collect the data, we may have thousands of features. But now out of those thousand features, we have to come to a like finite set of features, maybe 10 or 15 that are important for our model. So to the, do that, we need to reduce the total number of features and focus on only those features. That is what dimension reduction is. Let's understand by one example. So let's say we have a model to predict the price of the house and the price of the house is dependent on many features. Right? So data that we collected has like square feet, number of floors, zip code, number of rooms, lot size, like, you know, street address, all those things we have. But not everything will be contributing to the price of the house. Right? So what we do is that we run some of the dimensionality reduction processes and we find that number of floors has no impact on the price. I mean, whether it's a single story house or double story house, all that matters is the square feet. So what we say that, oh, we can drop this feature from the model because this feature has no impact on the model. So we can drop it. There's no need to use it for calculation. Then we find that there is correlation between square feet and number of rooms. So both of them are having the same impact. So we may need to just pick any one of these. So what we can do is that we can drop one of these features so that our calculation becomes much easier. So there's no need to have redundant like you know, features that are not contributing. So this collinearity can be reduced. So in uh, dimension reduction, we get a benefit of the like you know reducing the need for storage and time to perform a machine learning algorithm because each data set, ha if it has multiple features, then it need to store all that data as well as it needs process all the data. So that amount of time and like you know compute time will be saved it will make our algorithm much more efficient. So that is another thing that we can get results much faster if we use the dimensionality reduction. Then comes the issue of collinearity, multicollinearity. We can remove the multicollinearity by the dimensionality reduction and it can improve the performance of the model. Like if we showed you the example where the square feet as well as like the number of rooms, they were collinear, so we can just drop one of that, right? Then DR also makes it easy to visualize the model in 2D or 3D views. Like if we have lesser number of uh, dimensions that we can visualize that those things much better. If we have much many features, then it's very difficult to visualize them. Then there are certain techniques for doing dimensionality reduction. So these techniques are principal component analysis, PCA. This is very popular. Then we have linear discriminant analysis, LDA. Then we have canonical correlation analysis, CCA and non-negative matrix factorization. So this is example like um, we have non-negative matrix factorization. So, I mean, we will be having more sessions on these topics and, but as of now, dimensional reduction, this is the good point to learn. All right, that's all on this topic. And if you have any other questions or comments, do let us know in the comment section. We'll be happy to add any new topic that you want. Mention it in the comments and we'll be creating a video on that. Thank you and do subscribe to this channel so that you keep getting the updates of all the latest machine learning questions.